In this video, we're going to explore how you can adjust a specific tag by using the inner HTML output in JavaScript. And basically what it does is it can adjust a div or a tag, any HTML tag element based on JavaScript. So basically from JavaScript, you can immediately say, for example, here, change this text. We want to adjust this text. This JavaScript, we can pinpoint this specific tag and then we can indicate what text we want to have instead of whatever it is in here so it overrides this text here so let's explore how we can do this and a quick note if you're interested in learning how to use chart.js check out my udemy course in the description box in there you have a link click on that link and you can find a complete course about chart.js all right so let's start and explore now our inner HTML output tag. So how can we do this? Well, we have here a HTML file here, and in here we have the script tag for JavaScript, and that's where we're going to start. To do this, we need to know how we pinpoint the item here. To pinpoint them easy, we're going to use an ID on this paragraph. So basically this, this one here, this text, will be adjusted because now we can pinpoint which part we want to adjust. So we say here an ID, we will say that this is a change text. That will be the ID. So in here, what we can do now is we just say in, in JavaScript to go and get an element. So we say document for go search any document and then dot get element by ID. And then here, Sync quotation here because this is a string text, which is the ID name. So we said already, right down JavaScript, go search in this HTML document, search for the element with the ID name change text, which is this paragraph here. And then we say dot inner HTML and make sure inner the I is small, but the HTML is all caps locks equal, and then we can put in here a string. So let's say here. Uh, Hello, we change this text via JavaScript. All right, that's nice. Let's save this. Once we save this, we refresh. Now, as you can see, this has been adjusted. And that's exactly what we want. So this is basically how you adjust this. But imagine maybe we don't want to do it like this, but only by clicking on this button here, and then we pinpoint this. So basically what we need to do now is then to communicate in HTML and JavaScript that this button has a function. So the moment we trigger it by clicking on it, then this will be triggered. So basically, this command will be triggered if we click on the button here. So let's start and do that. So how we can do that is first of all, create again a variable, or we create a variable, this is a const variable, and this, let's give this a ID name first. This button needs to get an ID name so that HTML understands that if we click on that, JavaScript will, will find that trigger or understand this is a trigger to do something. So this is the reason why we're going to do that. So we say here, I'll give it a name trigger. All right. So we say here constant trigger equals document dot get element by ID. Yeah. So, so this constant is basically again the element by ID of trigger because that's the trigger. And then we say here, trigger. So the moment we trigger this, by clicking on this, or how, how will we trick this, trigger this? By clicking on it, mouse over, uh, hoover, whatever. Yes, so in our case here, by clicking on the button. So we say here, we're going to give it an add event listener. So trigger dot add event listener. All right, make sure you spell it correctly. And then, once we have that, the question is now, how will we trigger this trigger or this button, basically? Well, we will do it by a click. So the moment we click, what happens? I want to activate a function. So we'll get, we're going to give this function change, um, change text, text P for paragraph. And the reason why I'm doing this, I need to make sure we have different terms. If not, we might get confused here. All right. So we've got this. So once we click on this button, HTML understands we need to send this message to JavaScript. 
So there's a communication between HTML and JavaScript from that moment on. Then once we click, what, what will we trigger? Well, we will trigger this function here. So we're going to create now a function. And this function name is change text p. Why? Because that's the term we give here. So this function will be eventually the one that triggers what exactly? This item here. So we move this here, put it in there, and there we are. So once we've got this, we can save this. Let's refresh. Now you can see the paragraph has been set back to normal. And the moment we click on this, hello, we change this text by JavaScript. And this is basically how you can use inner HTML. You can do, of course, far more items, but this is one of the basics one where we just pinpoint and adding text values in here based on a trigger. So if you like videos like this about JavaScript, subscribe to my channel. And if you have a question regarding to this, just put them in the comment section below and I'll make sure I'll get back to you.